Hey guys, what up? It's your girl Chelsea, aka Kamachiba, and I'm here with my girl Tori. <laughs> we are embarking on a mystical journey to a place that I have dreamt of since I've set foot in Korea and discovered <laughs> that it exists. Y'all, we are about to go to an alpaca farm. <laughs> like they have in Korea where you pretty much go and hang out with alpacas and different types of farm animals and such but alpacas and llamas Chelsea's spirit animal right <laughs> and I'm so excited let's get this road trip underway Three hours later alpaca world they have alpaca shuttle bus We've made it to Alpaca World! <laughs> and you see the sign in the distance? We tried to take a photo of it. It's so cute. I gotta get like one of these buses. They have all the alpaca like, cartoons on the side. So cute. So we're gonna take the shuttle up to the actual like park. So it's great that they have like a parking lot where you can park your personal car and then you can like ride the bus on it. <laughs> so now we are leaving on the shuttle bus. It leaves in every 15 minute increments to take passengers up to where the alpacas are, which is great. This is the art shop. So the bus ride up here wasn't really that long. It literally was less than like a minute. Mountains. Like in Spanish, they say sharp. Yay! Alpaca World! So this is the front entrance. So you'll see a map. There's a gift shop and some latrines and a ticket counter that you uh, go to buy your tickets to get entry. It was only 15,000 won for adults, which isn't bad. So I'm gonna go and take my picture with the alpaca roll sign, you guys. I've been waiting for this day for all my time here in Korea. Ah! So pretty. Those views. So I wonder how they got all these animals up here. Cause on the map it said that there's like ostriches, a camel, like goats and- None of that is native here, is it? No, I don't think so. No, definitely not the camel. Oh, I see one all the way up there already. Oh, I'm so excited. Tori was joking on me for like taking so many pictures at the sign. But I'm like, girl, you have no idea. I've been waiting for this moment for all my life. A little bit of Phil Collins there for you. Look how beautiful the scenery is. The mountains and everything. Look at this beautiful scenic view. You can step out and take photos with the backdrop of the mountains. So here's a little sign here to kind of give you guidance on the rules about the uh, Paca World experience. And this is the little vending machine that you can buy the food for the alpacas. It's so cute. <laughs> the boy whose grandma just bought him some food grandma. into the enclosure to feed the alpacas. So cute. Hi little swan. Here alongside you can see some of the sheared alpacas. <laughs> So these are called mouflons, some type of goat I'm assuming. And over here we have the ostrich. You can see him hiding <laughs> under the shade. So here are the ponies, the little mini ponies. So cute and so little. Look at how tiny he is. So adorable. 
Aww. Hi, kiddo. So they also have a rabbit world. So you go in here and you can play with the rabbits. Rabbits. So cute. Wow, what kind of bird is that one? It's white and black. Okay, so to feed the rabbits, I put my, um, my equivalent to one dollar thousand wong bill into there, and then I press the little button here, and inside a cup dropped down, and you could hear it filling up with the rabbit feed. As you can see inside are the cute are the little uh, rabbit pellets food. And you can get a plastic spoon, it's supposed to be recycled, but as you can see, I'm sure a lot of kids and families and whatnot drop their plastic spoons inside the rabbit enclosure. It's a big no-no, but you're supposed to get a spoon and then you can come up to the fence and you can feed the rabbits the food. So let's try it. Spoons in there. Ah. It's just biting on it. So they probably snatched the spoon in. Okay, here, grab some. Wow, that's cool. Ooh, hello. You wanna feed them now? Yeah. <laughs> They're waiting. You so funny. <laughs> oh my god. They're coming. <laughs> Hi. So I am here with my best friends, the alpacas. Hi. Hi. <laughs> They're so cute. They were staring at us and then they came over. They're so skinny, they're all sheared. Oh, they're so cute. Yeah, and more of them inside. So here in this room is some llama coloring stations. And you can grab some llama coloring sheets and a spot to color. It's a very cool room, air con. We appreciate it. Let's see what Tori is going to tell me. She's already on the tinker. So both Tori and I love Bonkatsu, so we came to this little um, self-serving like cafe and eatery on the property at Opalco World where you can like choose your own food at the kiosk and just pay on your own and then they'll put food and call your number. So we got the Bonkatsu plate and as you can see she's digging in. <laughs> Trying to find that comfy spot, eh, Tori? <laughs> <I'm> horrible. <laughs> nature. Hammocks in nature at an alpaca of world. <laughs> this is the worst hammock I've ever seen. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is actually really cute. It matches my blouse, the colors. <laughs> I can position myself properly in this hammock. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, Chelsea got it. Ah! Okay, wait, wait. Ah. We got it. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> apparently you can like I don't know, I guess I mean, rent a llama to walk around or something for like a short amount of time. Yeah. See some teepees down here, little playhouses for the kids. Thank God for the misters. Because it is incredibly hot today. Oh, that is so cute. Young Jack? Wangja. Wangja. Oh. Yes. You can you can do a walking healing trail. Oh. And look they have a sombrero. Oh, healing walking. Oh. He's so cute. So we buy some food. It's only a dollar equivalent. Press the button for the alpaca food and it comes down. Voila! <laughs> Let's go feed some alpacas. You have to. So we just you have paid 10,000 Wong to walk the alpacas for 15 minutes. And she tells you the name of the alpaca you got and she gave us some extra food to feed with them. Um, feed them as we walk them and there's like a rule sheet both in Korean and English that they give you to follow as you walk your apaka up and down and our apaka name is Goma she told us so as you can see some people are walking their alpacas around and they put these like little hats on their heads <laughs> I guess with their names on it so you can um, call them by their name. I think it's pretty good quality of like interaction experiences with the alpacas for the amount of money that you pay. Because again, it was only 15,000 to come into Alpaca World and then like the food is only a dollar, a thousand wong, so like not even a full dollar in USD currency. We had a meal for 10. Yeah, we had a whole meal for 10. So here she is bringing out the uh, some of the alpacas. So cute. <laughs> <laughs> What's the alpaca's name? Minion. Minion. <laughs> Cute little blue tie. <laughs> so she told us to kind of lure them with food in front of them and then stop every five or six steps and give them the food. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get our llama's attention. <laughs> All his teeth touched my finger. <laughs> it's nice to have these little misters here. Mignon. He knows his name. His name is Mignon. Mignon. <laughs> so this experience for 10,000 won, you get to walk around with your special alpaca for 15 minutes and beat them along the way, which is pretty chill because of course all of them are trained. They expect the food um, and it's really easy and relaxing actually. I enjoy this a lot. And little Mignon here, our alpaca. Looks like he's ready to turn around and go back. <laughs> so I definitely want to own like at least eight. <laughs> But as Tori suggested, we should raise them from babies so they can be trained well 
and uh, you see some of them are sheared and others aren't so we think that here in Korea of course they're shearing them and selling their wool for um, to be produced into like yarn to be made into sweaters and other products and whatnot. Because actually it is pretty lucrative to sell alpaca fur when you shear them, bundles. That's how cashmere sweaters are made. <laughs> oh, that one's so photogenic. Yeah. Oh, sure, please. camel in here but my question is how in the world do you get a camel to South Korea <laughs> oh look he's standing up I can't see him oh wow he's a really dark colored camel I'm so used to seeing like the cliche like desert camels the really tan ones in the movies he looks really dark oh oh so there's the camel He's inside pee peeing. We should have timed his pee. <laughs> Tori. Talking about we should time his pee. What is wrong with you, girl? <laughs> he's been peeing for like five minutes. Because he's a big animal. You're right. I'm a big animal and I don't pee that much. Oh, he's really cool. There's some alpacas up here that we can just sit. My buddy Charlie and Suzanne. <gasps> Marietta. <laughs> Let's take a selfie together. That's the llama that was staring at us earlier. Excuse me. Is he chewing on cud that he regurgitated? We're here at the goat enclosure and some of the baby goats actually hopped up on here and was like squeezing through the railings and walking on the path where the humans walk, which is pretty, pretty cool. <laughs> They're just hanging out. There's some turkeys down there too. I see a few turkeys. Gobble, gobble. So nice. Like at first I was like, oh god, I hope this place isn't like torturing the animals. But now after seeing like how each of the enclosures have like their own unique little like play area for the animals and their type of like agility and skills. There's a pond for the ducks and water. The goats have like these ramps and things that they can climb up on and there's plenty of shade. Same thing with the deers. Like I'm starting to become more at ease with this place and like happy that it seems to be the animals are being well taken care of and that the people here that work the facility are responsible because we did see one injured rabbit and we went and told one of the workers and she ran off to you know go to the rabbit enclosure so hopefully they do take good care of the animals here because there are many of them and these are pretty cool I'm happy that they have something like this here in Korea it's really cool. even the white peacock is there I didn't even know that they had white peacocks that's pretty cool I like how they are perched here and you can pretty much walk inside their enclosure and just like see them up close and we found a peacock feather. <laughs> Souvenir. I wonder what's on the other side. I wonder how old the ones that have like all of their full feathers in. I wonder how old they are. And I see some of them that don't have all the pretty peacock feathers. I think the pretty ones are boys. Yeah.
they fly around and they come back. Wow, they're trained. That's so cool. So you gotta give them wing exercise. He's come here. Oh. Oh, they just turn the light on. Uh, he's trying to eat the one in the egg. Maybe he's trying to help him out of the egg. Maybe. He's like, I've been there too, bro. No, they have a like a bracelet on. Yeah. Oh wow, he's looking at me. Hi. These are not eagles. They're lying. They look like vultures. I was gonna say these are vultures. Look at this nest. Oh, it's pretty cool. Another one. Well, you feed it with a little food thing in your hands and then they'll fly into your hand and eat from it. Oh, look, they know where the food comes out of, so they all fly to the beginning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're fighting. All right, guys. So we had such an amazing day here at Old Half World, and I am thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly impressed and overjoyed. This has been a trip here in Korea that I've been waiting for for a very long time. Um, I'm very happy to see that people who run the park were actually attentive to the animals and they were out there with the presents, they were training the animals, they had their medical first aid kits and the go-karts riding around the properties. So the animals looked like they were well kept, their enclosures were really nice for the most part. Um, there were no like dead or sickly looking animals with the exception of that one rabbit that we came across. And uh, oh, that yeah. weird duck. There was a weird duck that was being hatched that kind of looked a little iffy, but other than that, all the other animals look well taken care of, so I'm very happy. Um, Alpaca World is actually pretty awesome, guys, so if you're ever visiting South Korea and you want a family fun trip to take, or you're crazy like me and just love alpacas because they're your spirit animal and you get it tattooed on you, then please come on out to the east side of Chuncheon City in northern, eastern, Korea, South Korea, where Alpaca World is located. Now it was quite a drive for us from Seoul where we live out here, about two hours by car. Um, and it is up in the mountains, so be prepared for the elevation. Lots of walking, lots of heels, and try and come on a day where it's at least overcast or a little bit cloudy because boy, with that sun beating down on you and all the hills and steps you gotta climb, it is very exhausting. So please bring walking shoes and be prepared. Um, but yeah, overall it was a great experience. I thoroughly enjoyed Alpaca World and I recommend it to all of you guys, followers out there and friends who are living in Korea that haven't had the opportunity to come out here and experience it. It's more than just alpacas. We saw so many different types of animals and had so many cool experiences with the animals. Um, now we are here cooling off in the cafe, waiting on the shuttle bus to come pick us up to take us back to the parking lot where we parked. And uh, there's a little photo zone area. Your girl just did about $52 worth of damage Damn. in souvenirs from the gift shop because that's just how crazy I am. 
but yes, it was much worth it, I shall say. All right, guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe, and comment down below. If you have any questions or comments, please, I'd love to hear from you. I know my channel has kind of been a little rocky here in the last year, but girl, 2020 has been rough for everybody, okay? So I will be uploading soon and uploading more content and more vlogs like this. If you like the style vlog, please let me know. I'll do more content like this. And if you guys like my girl Tori, <laughs> comment. Follow and me let on me Instagram know. at Topi the first T O P I E. Yes, the first. I'll plug her information <laughs> in somewhere on the on the frame. But yes, follow her on her social media and she will be featured in a lot more of my vlogs to come here soon. Alright guys, I love you so much. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Peace!